I'm getting dirt again. Filling it up. Sure doesn't look like very much. So, okay, peeps. This is the place where we're at that they do all kinds of uh, stuff in um, mulch and uh, I got all kind of weird stuff. But I think they're grinding up these concretes and making powder stuff out of it. And then behind me is mulch, red mulch and orange mulch, I don't know. All kind of neat stuff. So, okay, so here we go out of the little place here. David was telling me all about the different mulches. They even got bag stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Bag stuff they have over there, which is pretty cool. Um, and all you can see all the mounds over there. So they do a lot of recycling. Hey folks, well, it's been a very, very, very busy uh, Mother's Day weekend. Uh, I'm going to show you some clips of us uh, picking up dirt after that yesterday. Um, um, yesterday after my live stream, I went down to uh, Melbourne to the dentist and uh, had some more work done on my teeth or actually work done on my gums and they moved some some uh took some stuff off the dentures so that i could actually put them in they're still very uncomfortable they're still rubbing on bone but hopefully i'll get to wear them for a while now anyways i got dirt okay so when I got home with that dirt, <laughs> I uh, started filling my bed. And I'll show you that in a minute, but I want to show you while I'm out here what I've done. Yep, I emptied it all right here on the driveway. And there's still a little bit in the truck. I was going to go back and get some more, but I'm hurting so bad that... Uh, I just, I, I just don't know if I can do it. I need to get some mulch and some dirt. So, oh, and I want to show you some things that I got from Stark Brothers. Um, these are some blackberries. They were on sale. And I got some more, uh, um, strawberries. And I got, uh, what are these? I can't remember. <clears throat> this is the yellow raspberries and a grapevine. And I need to put some more water in there because those aren't getting soaked. I want those roots to get really wet. Anyways. I gotta get those in some pots today. I'll do that in a few minutes, but I'm gonna take you back here and show you what all I've been doing. <clears throat> Working slowly on getting all this mess cleaned up. <laughs> and I really messed up. I'm gonna pull all these tomatoes out, by the way. Um, I really, really messed up. <laughs> I should have gone ahead and put, I think that's a cabbage moth. Anyways, um, I started putting this together and realized after I got the dirt in, somehow I had gotten pushed over there further. And uh, I tried to move the dirt 
over towards that way so I could pull it this way, but it, I'm, it's not it's not working. <laughs> so I have to wait till my daughter gets here later and see if she can't help me pull it over. Where the butterfly isn't that gorgeous? I get so many butterflies in my yard. I love it. I think I'm going to get rid of the dog house. It's just taking up space and the dog doesn't use it and I don't need it, but I could, I could put it, you know what? I am going to keep it. I think I could put it, uh, somewhere and hook it on to the, uh, to the coop area somehow for the chickens. I'll see about that. I might take out some of that, uh, overgrown, uh, Mexican sunflower there. Anyways, I'm getting it done a little bit at a time. I just hope I can get that moved over. And I've got to get to work. I've been really, really slacking today. I haven't done anything this morning because I'm hurting all over. My mouth hurts. Oh, look at the red bird. Um, my mouth hurts. My, my whole body hurts. Everything hurts. Everything on me hurts today. Let's see if I can move over here and find her. I don't know where she went. She's hiding from me. Or he. Oh, there he comes. There she comes. She's hiding from me, too. I don't know if you can see her or not. Anyways, they play back in here um, all the time. So, I think red birds are so beautiful. I definitely need to clean out these weeds in front of here. Oh, everything's coming too at once. It grows so, so, so fast during the summer. The bees are coming and going like crazy in this one. The other one is slacked off and it may be a dead hive, I don't know. I gotta open it up and see. Probably do that later on today. But I've got the baby later, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get done. But I want you to see, I got some apples on here. I can pick them up with the... See there? There's an apple. There's some more up there. Oh, that excites me. This the, this tree has had apples on it before, but something got a hold of them and stung them and just made them rot, which is crazy. And I just can't get over how beautiful these strawberries are turning out. I'm hoping that these new ones that I got in will turn out as well. They didn't look as good as these did, and they're not... Uh, springing back like these did but i want you to see all this check this out i have blooms all over this uh um sugar apple i mean i mean i am just totally totally blown away thrilled with all the blooms on this i'm so excited Y'all, I'm going to have me some sugar apples this year. Hopefully, they'll be ripe so that I can give you guys um, a good taste of them. I know a few of you got to taste some that I brought with me. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Uh, this is a sucker that's on the tree. But it's got, it's got blooms on it. So, I may have, go ahead and let it stay for right now and later um, pull it up. But I think that this right here, I could be wrong, 
but I swear this looks like a uh, like a uh, sugar apple um, mm, start <laughs> a little seedling I got it from out from underneath here so it's a possibility it looks like the same leaves so I'm gonna see if that that is what it is and then I'm going to uh, try to grow it up it's absolutely gorgeous I'm so excited about this tree now that one over there and really needs some TLC and all that crap cleaned out over there but I just can't get to it yet that one over there is a Gaffner and Tommy and it uh, it has fruited once before but it uh, isn't fruiting now and here in my Jabuticaba, I've got a flower right there. But that's the only one I see. Well, no, nope, there's more hair in there. So it'll it'll start fruiting again. And I believe I have seedlings under here too. So I've got to get these wire things out of here and get those seedlings potted up. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. <clears throat> I love Jabotacabas. And you know I got some seedlings growing out there too. Pots of them. <clears throat> and this is really, really exciting. I can't believe it. This So I'm pretty excited about this too. This is one of my first asparagus sprouts and it looks like right beside of it is a Malabar spinach coming up but uh, pretty excited about that and this looks like uh, um, Xenias which I'm hoping and looky here I got some mushrooms so my goal today is to take it easy and to harvest all these tomatoes um, <clears throat> and the really green ones, I'm going to try and, uh, uh, can them. But I'm tired, guys. I'm really, really tired. So I don't know how much I'll actually get done. And then again, I might get a second wind because, uh, uh, it's so close to my shot time. I, I, I might give myself a shot today. Yeah, I take B12 shots so that I have energy because I'm just like, otherwise I can't do anything. I have no energy whatsoever. So, um, anyways, I'll bring you back. I want to show you all my um, bananas. I'd like to get up there and clean out all those dead limbs and stuff, but it, oh, it's so hard. And, and I don't have the tall ladder with me. David's got that at his house. It, it belongs to him, so. Anyways, I better get me a bucket and start picking tomatoes, or some bags, I should say, because I gotta put them in the freezer until I'm ready to can them. Make some sauce out of them. Oh, but I wanna get this, this tomato plant that's dying back here. I want to get it and get it out of the way. It's still, it's still got some tomatoes on it and good tomatoes, but yeah, it, it'll help open up this and give it some more airflow too. So that's my plans for today. Try to stay out of the sun. I've gotten so much sun lately. I'm kind of burnt a little bit from that. Everywhere I look, there's one of those great big giant grasshoppers. I gotta get that. But to make it easier on you guys and me, trying to hold my head up, I'm gonna take a picture of each and every one of the worms of the bananas and show them to you.
folks, next day. So, we're out here watering and looking for some more asparagus, but check this out. There's two here, and over here hiding is another one. Hmm. So they're coming up. There's one there. And a couple over here. No more down through there. So I need to put more dirt in there. There's one there. No more in there that I saw. But over here, man, oh man. They are cranking it. It's like uh, four right there. One there, one there. So they're cranking it there. Let's see over here in the purple ones. Nothing yet. So I'll have to keep watering that till I see some sprouts before I can bring some more dirt in there. Nothing over here. That's the ginger. This is a turmeric. And over here is more um, asparagus. Nothing there either.